something you just said is that you were trying to build beats over acapellas. What does that offer you in your practice? Because in my mind, you are literally building a mood that may not necessarily exist yet. So what's that process like? Yeah, because um, usually I try not to have the artist send me the um, like the beat because I don't want to hear the beat. I don't want to hear like the original mood. And I've I pretty much just like will email or DM an artist and be like, yo, if you have any acapella, send them to me. And then I'll just kind of I'll make like two or three beats sounding completely different with completely different moods over them. And then I'll send them and they'll be like if they if they like one over um over the other one then they'll ask me for that beat but um that's kind of how i do it i just try to make a bunch of different moods over the beats and that that allows you to connect with artists too and you never know what what that can transpire into like you might find like your person so that's pretty hard um no solace how do you um connect with artists like what do you look for when you're building with them <laughs> when I look for an, an artist is just like um I think it's like authenticity you know like I just want to I like I like to work with people who are just like themselves you know they don't have to necessarily be some kind of character you know so you know authenticity you know being able to have a great voice is very important to me at least because I think a vocal is so important you know in terms of like making a great song you you know you need that great vocal that great vocalist and uh yeah, I try to look for people who kind of have similar visions to me in terms of like what you're trying to do with your career. Like you kind of have to be kind of very ambitious. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like I am always trying to push it the furthest it can go, you know, so. Working yeah. with people who are open to trying new things, basically. Absolutely. <laughs>